You're trying really hard to make your dreams happen. You're tired, hell, maybe even exhausted. And you're probably super hard on yourself because you should be further ahead or doing more, right? I bet when someone says to take a break, you don't even know what a break is. I mean, what would you even do? Hit the like button below if you resonate with anything that I just said. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can actually celebrate and reward yourself so you can stop downplaying your your strengths and your achievements no matter how small it's time to celebrate how amazing you truly are let's get started if we've never met before my name is Becca Rich and I am a holistic time management coach I help entrepreneurs spend their time and energy intentionally and in alignment so they can have it all a successful business time freedom and feeling fulfilled at the end of the day so the first thing that I want to touch on is why is celebrating yourself so important and Anyways, like why do I have to take the time to celebrate me? We live in such a fast-paced society. We are taught from when we're kids in school all the way until we retire that feeling accomplished means getting as much stuff done in a day as we possibly can. And when we're always focusing on how much stuff we can get done, we just feel depleted. We feel tired and that leads to burnout. That's why the conversation around burnout has become so loud. We're so focused on what's next, on achieving the big goals, and so worried about the outcome. So when we take a moment to pause and actually acknowledge all of the small steps that we are already taking and all of the achievements, no matter how small along the way, we take the focus away from the outcome and focus on what we're doing today to get there. When you celebrate and reward yourself for the small steps that you've already taken and take every single day to your well-being and your goals, you regain energy, you regain motivation, momentum, which yes, brings you closer to your goals ultimately, right? That's what we're working towards, but it also allows you to enjoy your life and be human. When you celebrate yourself, you're building your self-accountability muscle. So instead of focusing on not being able to follow your own deadlines, and especially when you're starting your own business, when you get out of the shame cycle of beating yourself up for not finishing your to-do list every single day, and you focus on what you have accomplished, you're building and building and growing that muscle. And last but not least, when you celebrate and reward yourself along the way instead of at the very end. You take the time to recognize your growth and your evolution, building your self-confidence, your self-worth. And as we know, as entrepreneurs, we need to feel confident. We need to feel worthy in order to run our own businesses and be the badass that we want to be. So comment below, when was the last time you rewarded or celebrated yourself? The next thing that I want to talk about is when do you celebrate yourself? And a common misconception is that you have to wait until the very end of your project. For example, if you're building a website, it took me months and months and months to build my website. And I felt like I couldn't celebrate myself until the entire big website was launched and ready to go. That's not true. You don't have to wait until the end. In fact, it's the complete opposite of what you need to do to stay motivated, to keep that energy and honestly finish the project. One of the things that I have to do in order to actually remember and celebrate myself is schedule time in my calendar, like literally in my calendar, it's an event that I have set out to review my last week and write out all of the things that I have done and just sit with it for a moment and just feel how it feels to be working towards my overall goal. This can be a daily practice if you want to set up time to celebrate what you did in a day, which I will talk about in a little bit, but also you could do it on a weekly basis. You could do it on a monthly basis. You could do this on a bi-weekly basis. I would say do it fairly frequently because you want to make the celebrations around small growth instead of just like the big items on your list. So let's get to the juicy part. How? How do you actually celebrate yourself? How do you reward yourself for even the smallest tasks? Another common misconception is I hear people think they need to spend 
money on themselves to celebrate and reward themselves, right? You think of going to a spa or going out to a fancy dinner, going online shopping, or even going to a store. I haven't been to a store in so long. <laughs> And while there's nothing wrong with that necessarily, I think that there are other options, especially when you're celebrating on a potential daily, weekly, or bi-weekly basis. You can't be going out to get a massage and a facial every week or every day, unless you can. All is to say, it's not necessary to spend money on yourself to celebrate yourself. And in my personal experience, I don't need to spend money on myself to feel like I am giving my Myself a pat on the back or um, feeling fulfilled and accomplished. So here is my list of some of the things that I have done to celebrate and reward myself without spending any money. When I finished a small task before, I have patted myself on the back, like actually, physically patted myself on the back. <laughs> or any similar gestures like that. You could celebrate, cheer, like shimmy. You could like do whatever that feels really good to just like give yourself that energy. You can verbally tell yourself good job out loud or in your head or something along those lines, way to go, oh my goodness, like whatever you need to say that actually celebrates you. You can text a friend uh, something that you are proud of yourself for doing and like I said, it does not have to be something big, like text your friend that you did the dishes. You are amazing. You taking care of your basic needs. Of course, the beloved bath. You can take a bubble bath. That is always an amazing option. And a lot of times, you know, if you usually bring in like your cell phone or a magazine, a book, Maybe give yourself time verbally out loud or physically like hug yourself in the bath. Just breathe and meditate and just think about all of the amazing hard work that you have done that day or the week. You can go for a walk and pick flowers and bring a little flower, wildflower bouquet home to yourself. You can go lay outside and cloud watch and just enjoy the nice weather, especially now that it is getting warmer in the United States. It is a beautiful time to go outside and lay out in the grass. You can paint your nails or just give them a nice little tune up, touch up with some nail clippers. You can walk past a mirror and say, damn, I'm fine. You can bake yourself a nice pie or cake or brownies. You can go out in nature, like I said, watching the clouds, but also just being out in nature in any sense like is always a really great way to just reward yourself and maybe you're sensing a theme now but what I like to do is ask what does little Becca need what does that like joyful inner child part of me needs to feel joyful and to feel energized and to feel really good another few ideas that my inner Becca loves to do is go outside and go for a run in the rain dance around my house and sing in the shower Shower. I love singing in the shower. And to be completely honest with you, it was really hard for me to celebrate and reward myself, which is a whole nother topic to go into. However, I think that it is a really important thing to schedule into your calendar because of all of the amazing benefits that come from rewarding and celebrating yourself. I had to remember that I had to step away from the computer and the phone and Netflix and whatever else I typically do to like brain numb and actually get into a more mindful state so I can feel the feelings of, oh my gosh, I just accomplished that small task or big task or medium task, whatever it is. And I just needed a moment to be still and celebrate myself and to feel it. The ideas are truly endless, but just catch yourself. You can fall into the trap of productivity with your celebration and rewards. I know a lot of times people are like, I wanna clean the house. I wanna weed the garden. Those things are amazing to get done, right? But does your inner child really wanna do the dishes? Does your inner child really wanna go outside and mulch? Maybe, but that's up to you of what you really need right now. So check in with your inner 
Becca inner self and figure out what he or she or they need to feel joyful and energized. And what I like to do is I have a note in my phone of all of these things that I just listed out to you and more that I come back to when I just feel like I need a break but I don't want to watch Netflix and scroll on social media endlessly. So my recommendation is to open a note on your phone and write out all of the things things that you could do that are not necessarily productive but are things that make you feel really good inside and like you deserve to be treated well by yourself. And this takes me to my have done list. So about two years ago, I was I had a planner like we all do, right? And I was tired of writing in my planner all of the things that I wanted to do in a day, but I could never get to. I started to write all of the things that I had done that day instead of the things that I wanted to do tomorrow. So I really fell into this whole concept of celebrating and rewarding myself accidentally, honestly. But that was two years ago and now I realize what I was doing and it has become a daily practice sometimes of course like I miss days that's okay um, and I write down the things that I've spent my time on and it does not have to be big I am a huge fan of Netflix I write down I watched five episodes of community last Tuesday like whatever it is the whole point of it is to just be aware of what you spend your time on so you don't shame yourself and tell yourself that I've done nothing all day long and then you're beating yourself up that's the opposite of creating this rewarding celebrating intentional way of spending your time this practice has helped me in so many areas of my life and I really changed my relationship with time so if you haven't already you know I know that there are so many habits and routines and things that you want to change in your life and the have done lists have really helped me change everything because it creates a foundational for like I said before the self accountability muscle and that confidence of being able to do whatever you set your mind to and it helps you see how you spend your time so if you want to download my have done list I am going to attach a list of all the things that you can do to celebrate and reward yourself to that as well and you can start on this new foundational life-changing journey of motivation and energy comment below your favorite way of celebrating yourself from this video or if you have any other suggestions on how you in your inner self want to celebrate and reward